In today's video, I'm going to show you Skywork and how I can literally just paste in my YouTube URL and come back with an entire landing page in like just a couple of minutes, which includes actual tutorials to my YouTube videos. And not only that, but it's actually built on top of open source models. Now, Skywork is an all-in-one platform, so today we're going to show you how to create websites, but you can create documents, slides, sheets, posters, websites, as well as interacting with YouTube videos, creating podcasts, and even working with data like a professional. So, let's get into the website build. So, we'll head here to my YouTube channel, and we'll just copy the link. We'll come back over here, paste that in. So, let's make sure... We'll remove videos. We can see that we're on websites, denoted here websites. Now, we can have search enabled or not. We're going to leave it on so that it can actually access us. Add more. We can add some preset prompts. Not going to do that. We're all good. I'm not going to save anything, update anything. We'll just have this here. Now, we're going to say, from my YouTube channel, make a landing page to sell my AI consulting services. Make it a slick WordPress style site. Cool. And we'll just send that in. Now, now Skywalk here will just get to work straight away. So it will start organizing the information, try to figure out what it needs to actually go and learn. So let me pop out this side here and you can see the different resources that we can actually have. So if you have like actual data you wanted to add, you can obviously upload it locally so just upload it from here right now you can add different links so if you have your websites and stuff cloud data you can even connect it to onedrive google drive dropbox all of this stuff and you can see right now actually it's a way of searching try to see what it can do also if you've got a super base database for more data you can connect that via here as well and one of the cool things as well about skywork is this uploading from your knowledge base so you can have a bunch of different ones. I have a few different knowledge bases, but essentially it's a way to collect information. So on here, for example, we have on the left-hand side, knowledge base. If we select knowledge base, you can see here I have different files. Now all of these files are in my knowledge base that I can use later on. So for example, this here, this is actually a site that I already created on Skywork, which teaches you how to build uh, an AI agent in NA10 which writes SQL. Now this here was built directly just from, given it, if we go back over to my channel, this video here, create an AI agent that writes SQL queries, I just gave it the link and it generated this entire thing here. So key capabilities of the agent, the system architecture with an actual diagram which is mental, core technologies, step-by-step -step guide including the actual code like embedded in, all the stuff, install and run it, NA10, etc, etc, configuring credentials, the workflow nodes, like the different nodes you actually will need, the engineering of the system prompt, and then how to test it, additional resources, blah, blah, blah. And you can see here, different stuff, which included at the time my applied AI community, which we might be bringing back. Comment below if you want to see it. So you can see here that this website is brilliant. And so if we go back now, let's go and see what this is up to. You can see he's still away looking stuff up. But we can see as well that it's actually starting to try and create some of the code that's required. Because this here on the right is Skywork's computer. And so we can see different websites, for example, that it's looking at. The models here that are actually thinking are open source models. So if you go to Skywork on GitHub, you just literally just Google it, you can see here all of the different models that it actually uses completely open source for you to come and have a look, download, use on your own. So there's none of this black box stuff. Instead, oh, there we go. We'll earn some credits. Instead, you actually can use models which are out there in the open. So no more worrying about that. Now this here, these credits, basically you get more credits to use simply by using Skywork, which is cool. So let's close that down. And we can see here now, there we go. That looks amazing, my website. So let's open this up. We'll just um, make it full screen. And here we go. So AI looks website, AI consulting that delivers results. Start your AI journey, watch my content. Uh, videos, so the different videos I have. Number of subscribers, which is accurate. 
comprehensive solutions, so AI strategy and planning, implementation and development, training and support. Meet Luke, your AI implementation expert. So, blah, blah, blah. This is me. This is literally in the bio of my YouTube. I specialize in open business, blah, blah, blah. Brilliant. That's so cool. And then we have some templates. Whenever you make a website like this, don't publish it with these in it. Make sure you change it. But this is templates as to what it would look like for you having your reviews. And then you can schedule your con, uh, free consultation via the YouTube channel. Close that down. We can actually see as well that you can view the code as well for this here. So here we have the code. And we can actually see this via going to all files. If we can go to web pages here. And we have these web pages which we can then download or add to our knowledge base. Now, another example we can do here with the exact same stuff is I could instead say, now create a portfolio of any 10 projects from my YouTube channel. I misspelled it, but it will know what I'm talking about. So let's send that in, and it will now go away and collect the information from my YouTube channel here. It will get any end videos, bring it back, and again, create like a landing page. Because one of the things is, obviously, if I have, say, this website here, so let's just open it up as is, we have this landing page, we want some actual, not just testimonies, but I would want tutorials because not only would I want to deliver consultant services, but I actually want to show that I can create things as well. So what we'll do is we'll let it go and run, and you can see here that it's using MCP tools to go and search the web. It will bring back, collect all of this information using, as we said, its open source models, and then it will create the landing page for us. Now, whilst it's doing that, Let's have a quick look overview of Skywalk generally. So we have here the main page. It's just like ChatGPT, writing stuff in here. You can add MCP tools, prompts, etc. This here, R1v4. So this is enhanced depth image understanding capability. So basically it can read images. And then we have this here where you can add attachments. This is your knowledge base, etc. Now we have general documents, slides, sheets, posters, websites, and then tools. So UVibe is a really good tool. This is actually how I created this SQL website. So if we go into the left here, let me open this up. So all the different projects that I've done recently. And we can actually go here and we can see that this is our SQL AI agent website. That's the one that it created, the one that I was just showing you. But not only that, it also created a PowerPoint presentation based on it. That orange was me, don't worry. But look at this, like it's creating like actual this a bottleneck. I mean, that's amazing. In addition to that, it also created, da, 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 da. if we go, that's a PowerPoint, this here, which is a podcast as well. So it created a podcast all about these types of agents, which is incredible. So it has a bunch of different tools like that. We have UVibe creating podcasts and then actually using professional data as well. So anyway, let's come back here and we'll check out what our website looks like. We'll give it one more minute and then it'll pop up. In the meantime, let's get some credits by adding a project to our knowledge base. And there we go. So, <laughs> let's open this up. That looks well cool. So, let's scroll down. Blah, blah, blah. So, any 10 AI automation portfolio is now inside this landing page. Full course build and sell with a picture there. And then we have build your first AI one. Instant build any 10 AI agents with Claude 4. These are all ones which I've, I've created. AI agent that codes in GitHub. AI voice agent with 11 labs. Automate YouTube descriptions. So these are all ones that I've created already. You can see any 10 workflows created. The course content. So I think this will be to do with actually how long the videos are. But yeah, I'm so, I'm so impressed with this. And then obviously, we can either download this here. So for example, there we go. We download the... Let me open this up. And it's downloaded this here, which is all of the code. So all of the code for that, we can just import this directly into, say, like VS code. And then not only that, but we can actually host it from here as well. So it has this website URL. So we can directly just send people to here straight away. We don't even have to worry about hosting it somewhere. And one last thing just before I go, you have this edit button up the top. So here, this edit one. And you can click on here. And it means you can now select specific portions of the HTML to actually edit. So, say this picture here, we want to click on that. We can do some uh, replace the image. There we go. And then now it will ask me what image do I want to put there. Let's just pick something, just a screenshot. 
Here's a screenshot of a video, that'll do. And then it'll replace with that there, but we can also use AI to edit this as well, to generate the images. There we go, there's me, <laughs> mid, mid yapping. Some things never change. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, like, comment, subscribe, go and check out Skywork. They will be the first like in the description below. Anyway, like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.